So I want to explain to you exactly why I'm deciding to short the market. What's going on team? It's Ricky here with TechBit Solutions. I want to show you not so uh, a not so pretty picture, right? Uh, yesterday I made a little bit over $5,700 profit. I recapped my day. The day before that I made over $6,000 profit. The day before that I made $24,000 shorting the market. I love recapping both my green days and my red days. I'm going to show you exactly how much it is that I'm currently down on the day, I'm down about nine thousand dollars, nine to ten thousand dollars, which is around two to two and a half percent of my average purchase price. Just so you can see at thirty four eighteen. Why in the world would I be shorting the market? I explained it in yesterday's video. I view the market to be very overbought. I do not need you to agree with me. I do believe that today because earnings for big tech such as Alphabet. Uh, and known as Google, right? Uh, we have Amazon and then we have Apple. They're all reporting earnings today. I, I do not intend to hold my position that late. But I view even on the day, um, the market to be super, super overextended where, where it's going to need to correct itself. I could be wrong and I will accept my loss if I'm completely wrong. But again, my average price as of right now is not far off from where it is that I'm at right now. Um, I'm excited to even add more if direction ends up actually presenting itself. I began adding more a little bit right now as we broke above the EMA. If we break above the moving average, I'll probably add another 100,000. Uh, but again, I, I love talking about my green days. I love recapping my red days because it shares with you and shows you, right? It was all caught in my live trading session today with the LPP team. Um, I was actually up on my SQQQ trade. I had a goal to sell around the moving average. We hit highs of around 34.70. We saw the resistance. I didn't act upon it and I ended up holding, right? I ended up having to cut losses when it broke below its support. And then I went back for that re-entry right now with my average right around 34.18. So my average, I didn't sell all of it. I reduced my position size and then I started adding a little bit more right now. Um, my trades are not perfect. I just, again, this is 100% my opinion. I do not care if you agree with me or not. Um, looking at oversold, overbought levels, oversold levels, overbought levels, just like I did when the market was very oversold. I was making videos about, hey, I'm buying into these 52 week lows. Everyone thought I was crazy. Everyone thought that the market was going to go to new lows. Now that the market's overbought, I'm getting ready to short the market. I view the market to be overextended. And yes, I believe that you know, it could go up even further today. All I know is it's it's like a slingshot. The more that you, the more that you pull it back, the quicker it will retrace. And that that's something that literally always happens. Look at the RSI. Look at the MACD. Everything is is screaming. I'm overbought. I'm overextended, and um, I'm very excited to follow up. I know that today might not be my day. I might have to accept this loss of around ten to eleven thousand dollars. If that's what I end the day at, then so be it. Um, but I'm, I'm not afraid to take advantage of an opportunity that I see potential in. And my job here on YouTube is not to be perfect, right? Today's a great example of that. My job here on YouTube is to explain to you why it is that I see, you know, and, and how it is that I'm preparing for it. So uh, that's exactly what I'm doing in today's video. I just wanted to remind you that I will be live streaming the earnings today uh, here for free on my YouTube channel. All you have to do is drop a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel uh, and I will take care of the rest. I'll be live about uh, five to 10 minutes right before the market closes because when the market closes, that's when Amazon, Google, and Apple are going to be reporting earnings. And I would love for you to be able to tune on in and together we can watch the market react to the biggest tech earnings of this quarter, right? And that's Apple, Amazon, and Google. So very excited to follow up with that. I do want to let you guys know uh, when it comes down to the overall economic reports, um, factory orders came in. If I'm not mistaken, they came in a little bit lower than expected. Uh, we did have initial claims coming in at 183K. So what that means is the expectation was 201,000 of people who were going to file for unemployment for the first time, but actually less than what was expected and less than the prior month as well. So less people are filing for unemployment. And the reason that's so important to understand is what well, less people are filing for unemployment for the first time, that most likely means that the unemployment rate should be going down, right? Because if there's less people filing for unemployment, most likely means that they're getting employed. And we've seen that week after week, if I'm not mistaken. So therefore, the unemployment rate should actually go down. The expectation is 3.6%. The current is 3.5%. I mean, based off of 
those reportings of those unemployment reports um, or the initial claims reports, I would assume that it would make sense that the unemployment rate would actually come in at 3.5 or less, right? Uh, very excited to follow up. And again, my trades are never perfect. I am not a perfect trader. I uh, just like today, I uh, got in. I got a little greedy. I got a little too confident because of my three-day green streak this week, um, and I wanted to share that with you guys. I hope that me not just sharing my green days but sharing my red days can just put can put things into perspective. Where you know we're human, we make mistakes. Um, our job is just to you know manage and mitigate that position size. Right? My loss might seem like an insane amount, uh, but remember. I made 24000 on Monday, I made 6000 on Tuesday, and I made over 5700 yesterday. So it, it, it's all perspective with what you trade with and your position size at, and what you can tolerate. So this is the great thing about trading is if you focus on the learning part now and building good habits, the making money part is going to come later, right? Don't worry about the extra 5 or $0.10 cents right now because it's not going to make much of a difference. It makes a bigger difference later down the road when you begin to trade with big money. So I appreciate your time. Hope that warned your thumbs up. I'll see you for today's earnings live stream. Uh, make sure you uh, stay subscribed to the channel. And if you're ready to join our team, click that second link down below to join our LPP team to be able to watch me trade live every day. If you have any other questions, feel free to send me a direct message via Discord. And that's that first link in the description or send me a message via Instagram. And that's that third link in the description. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy.